In this video, we look at some of the security measures which companies and organisations can undertake to protect themselves. So for the purpose of your exam, security measures simply mean any steps, actions or measures which are taken as a precaution against computer or data related theft, espionage, sabotage, etc. Now, there are many security measures which people can employ to protect computer systems. There are five in specific you need to know about for the exam, and these are being shown on the screen now. We're going to go over each of them in a little more detail. The first is biometrics. Now, this is the technical term for body measurements and calculations, and it refers to the metrics, the data or information related to various human characteristics. Biometric authentication is often used in computer science as a form of identification and gaining access. It includes such things as fingerprint scans, retinal scans and face identification and voice pattern recognition. These sorts of patterns are incredibly unique, so they're a great way to authenticate a person. You are probably most used to these in today's day and age as a way of gaining access to a mobile phone. The second security measure is password systems. So a very common method of preventing unauthorized access is to require users of a system to enter a username and password. And this can be made more secure by implementing various password rules. So for example, one policy on a network may be that passwords have to be a minimum length, that passwords have to have a mix of uppercase and lowercase numbers, that your password can't be the same as your last, say, five passwords used, that you must change your password every, say, 30 days, and that your password shouldn't be based on a real life name. Now, you should be careful here, it's quite popular for some organisations to use a lot of different rules for passwords with the illusion of thinking that this makes passwords really secure. In fact, it has been proven through research that the more complicated password requirements are, the more likely users are to forget their passwords, become frustrated and simply start writing them down, say on bits of paper, in the back of books, and even on post-it notes that are stuck near to the computer. This now obviously completely bypasses the security that password systems were trying to introduce. The next security measure is CAPTCHA. Now this stands for Completely Automated Public Turing Test to Tell Computers and Humans Apart. It's a system used to determine if the user is a machine or a human. You are probably used to this just by using the internet and it works by typically displaying some text to you which is indecipherable by a computer if that computer was using automatic text recognition software. The user is asked to interpret and enter the text displayed. A computer is unable to do this automatically, meaning that if the correct text is typed in, the programmer is sure that the person trying to gain access is actually a human being. The next technique is using email confirmation. So this is a measure used to determine if someone is using a valid and working email address. And we often see this when signing up for new services online. The user is typically not granted access until they actually click a link sent to an email address that they have supplied. Now, it's not foolproof, but it does provide some confidence that the user is using a real email address and has not simply made one up. And the final security measure is automatic software updates. This is the concept of keeping software up to date by installing updates and patches. As we've already discussed, popular software often becomes the target of large scale malware attacks. Most software these days comes with what we call automatic updates, which apply patches and bug fixes if issues or security flaws are found. 
by turning on automatic software updates for say your operating system or firewall software you're making sure your product is kept up to date and security flaws are fixed as soon as possible without you having to do any manual intervention so just to recap by security measures, we mean any steps, actions or measures which are taken as a precaution against computer data and related theft, espionage, sabotage, etc. The five security measures you need to know about are shown on the screen now with a few bullet points. Pause the video and take some notes.